and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video, we will be talking about the breaking news coming out of Colorado uh, and how Colorado's Supreme Court has just announced that they will um, kick Donald Trump off of the 2024 presidential primary ballot, of course, in that Republican primary. So, um, this is so, so important because it means that we will have at least one state that doesn't go to Donald Trump. I mean, um, you can write in Donald Trump's name, and I assure you, many people will do that, but it's not like Donald Trump um, has any path to victory uh, in Colorado. He can't expect to lose those delegates without being on the ballot. I mean, making people write in the name is so much harder than you'd think, and write-in candidates almost never win. Um, so, this, uh, in this 4-3 to three decision, a very close decision, uh, the Colorado Supreme Court says that Donald Trump cannot appear on the ballot due to the Constitution's 14th Amendment, which um, is in regards to inciting an insurrection, um, and, you know, you can't be a... Um, a camp here on a ballot if you incite an insurrection. So, um, that's what the Colorado Supreme Court says. However, the Trump campaign, of course, can appeal to the United States Supreme Court, and he has just said that that is what he will be doing. Trump will now um, put this decision to the U.S. Supreme Court, um, most of which are Republicans. It's six to three. Many of them Trump appointed himself. And, um, I mean, they are obviously, uh, very much likely expected to side with him. I mean, these are conservative Republicans. These are ones he appointed. And, you know, even though they're supposed to keep their biases aside, um, um, they will, they are still likely to favor, obviously, in the person that they appointed. I mean, it's not like, um, whatever. Uh, so, um, that will make it a lot more interesting. However, they have said that, uh, this ruling will be placed on hold until January 4th. So, if the Supreme Court does not take action until January 4th, then Trump is officially off the ballot. So, it's December 19th right now. January 4th is in 16 days. To put it simply, time is running out. The Supreme Court usually does not um, make a decision in 16 days. So, Trump really could be off the ballot come the primary. Um, so that could be, uh, that could be big, that, that deadline. Um, but looking at the primary, I mean, Trump really can't win. He'll probably come in like third or fourth, to be honest. Eh, maybe not, maybe second or third. Um, but I think that Nikki Haley will win this primary. I mean, Colorado to begin with, is a state where uh, Donald Trump wouldn't crush it. It is a more moderate state among the Republicans, um, more libertarian-minded, uh, who have really turned away from Trump. The whole state, um, throughout you know all the votes throughout the state, have really turned on Trump since 2016. I mean, it shifted so much to the left compared to 2016. So someone like Nikki Haley, a more moderate force, um, we'll probably win this, I mean, you know, Chris Christie is anti-Trump, whatever, but, I mean, Nikki Haley is the, is the, um, only other, uh, serious contender besides DeSantis and Trump, whom Colorado probably wouldn't vote for. DeSantis will get some votes, don't get me wrong, um, but Haley will probably win that primary, so she can at least almost count on I mean, she shouldn't count on it, because honestly, DeSantis can win it too, but Haley can sort of count on at least winning one state, if not anything else. And maybe it won't even matter, because maybe 
the race will be over by then, and Trump has already won every state, and all the candidates have dropped out. Maybe that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.